Het nieuwe geluid van de vaccines heet Disaster Girl. Is this real? Are you really here? Is this just the Zoom calls we did the last two years, I think? No Zoom. Real life. We, we out here. <laughs> You're no holograms or something, because that's what artists do nowadays. No, we're here in the flesh. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. But this must be a good place for you guys, because the music is basement music, and we are actually with the station in a basement. Yeah, yeah. Feels nice and comfortable here. Feels yeah. very comfortable. I'm so glad you're here because people are already texting in a lot who are going to see you tomorrow in Amsterdam, but now you're here to play the music in a way we never heard before. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Because normally this is Cleo Patrick. you doing guys welcome in europe again thank you doing thanks well. for having us doing very well it's when, great to be here when was the last time you've been in europe with cleo patrick 2019 yeah right? 2019 yeah that's a long time ago yeah a long time but on the other hand it's still two and a half year ago i'm i'm completely lost with time and stuff mm. mm-hmm. yeah likewise same here because when came the uh, when did the album came out was it 2019 or was it last year or I'm, I'm completely uh, lost with time. Yeah. In a way, it was all of the above, but it was 2021. <laughs> so that was last year, actually. Yeah. Yeah. How does it feel to have a debut album out now in the world for a year? Oh, it's, been a, it's been a bit of a, a journey with it. It's been amazing, but, you know, with uh, everything going on, it, it has been a bit of a, I guess, a learning curve. I don't know. It's, it's, been, it's been fantastic, honestly. Uh, I, what can I say? It's been awesome. But it's I can really imagine good. now is the first time you can really enjoy this album because you can sing, sing along with the fans and the audience. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what, kind of what I meant when I was saying it, it was a learning curve. Yeah. At, at first it was, we were just at our homes, but now we're here and it's, it feels a lot more real. It's almost like a second uh, release. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's so cool. And you did already a few shows in Europe. What was the first one? We started it out in Belfast, Ireland. Um, so a lot of Guinness or... A little bit of Guinness, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we eased ourselves into it. Yeah. Is, is it hard to be on tour now? Because it's a fucking long tour. Yeah, I mean, we're out here with some really good people and uh, it, it hasn't been too bad. It hasn't been too draining. We're also, we're smart guys. We keep it healthy. We stay hydrated. I see a <laughs> bottle of water. That's yeah. good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but how do you stay healthy? Because a lot of venues around, actually the UK, don't have a lot of good food, I heard, from a lot of artists. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, I don't want to throw shade, but yes, it, it's hard. Yeah, uh, we ate a lot of kebab, yeah. um, which is fantastic. Yeah. But it is. It is. Yeah, fantastic. Mainly for the taste, and then the next day, it's like, oh, is it really that fantastic? Someone turned up gravity the next yeah. day. Yeah, but tomorrow you're playing in the Tolhuis Town, Paradiso Nord in Amsterdam. They have the best food in the Netherlands or from venues. Really, oh, that's fantastic. Really healthy. It's it's like tapas. It's very good. Okay, nice. fantastic. I see. I see Sebastian. He's texting and looking forward to see Cleo Patrick tomorrow in Paradiso Nord. It's been a long time since we had a good concert over here. You guys are the first in a long time. Mm-hmm. I can think of think of a better kickoff for the concerts to come. You guys rock. <laughs> Jeez. What Thank an you. honor. Yeah, and I see nice. Leah is waiting for you, Olaf as well. Uh, Cyril is sending a picture from actually a few years ago, the gig <laughs> in Cologne you did. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It must be good to see all the new Rock Mafia fans throughout the whole of Europe again. Yeah, it's crazy. We've, we've met some people in front of shows and almost not even recognize them because of the last time we saw them, they were like <laughs> children. Yeah. And yeah. You now they're growing. Are growing. People are <laughs> yeah. growing. And a lot of people who didn't go to concert before the pandemic because they were too young are now seeing your band for the first time play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, pretty, it's, a, it's a pretty special time right now. It feels, feels really good to be out here doing the thing. I'm so glad you're here because last year you were supposed to play the Lowlands Festival, a great mm-hmm. festival in the Netherlands. This year you're being back for the festival. We sure are. Yeah. yeah. Finally, yeah. there's really some... I'm so glad you're here because <laughs> we talked a lot on Zoom and stuff and now it's time to make music here in the studio but not the way you normally do that because our, our basement is not the basement you rock in <laughs> yeah. how, how are you going to do it um 
We're going to do a little more low-key today. Yeah, we're going to quiet things down. <laughs> yeah, we practiced it a couple of times in our hotel room before we came over here, and we'll see how it goes. It might be catastrophic. <laughs> this might be the end of your career. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe there will be no show in the Paradise of North tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. It'll be too ashamed. To <laughs> or it will just be this tune you're playing now. Yeah, it's true. It could be a lot quieter tomorrow. Depending <laughs> on how this goes. I'm so glad you guys here. In a minute, you're going to hear Cleo Patrick live. People are still texting in. You need to release this. How was it to play this version? Because normally the Drake is fucking loud. With a lot of <laughs> guitar and drums. But this was something else. Yeah, that was scary, if I'm being honest. That was a little scary. <laughs> Well, we we're happy with that. That was fun. Yeah, it was super fun. How, do, how does a new Cleo Patrick song start? Does it even start on an acoustic guitar sometimes? Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. In, in fact, a lot of the time, I think that maybe that's why we can do that. It's because we know that those songs have that little, uh, that little uh, foundation yeah. to them. Yeah. The, be the best songs are the songs that can play be played on an acoustic guitar. Yeah, exactly. John Lennon said it once, I think. There are people texting in to, 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 to uh, thank you for this, and they have a lot of questions, like Rob. He says, is there a chance to get a signed vinyl tomorrow? Yeah, you know what? We might be sold out, actually. Oh, really? All our vinyl, yeah. But maybe Rob has already a vinyl yeah. and he can bring it with him. In that case, In that we case. can make something work, yeah. <laughs> I got a question from uh, Leah. She says, I can't be there this week, but are they coming back for new venue shows in the Netherlands? Because uh, I see Alexander, he says, are they coming to a festival in Europe? Yeah, the, the Lowlands Festival. Yeah. But are there more venue dates coming up? Yeah, we're we're hoping to put more stuff together. It's it's been a little tricky with the schedule and and getting to all the places that we couldn't during COVID. But yeah, we want to come back here as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. But is it still hard to do a tour because there is still a COVID pandemic in the world somewhere? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's been it's it's been tricky, but we're just trying to kind of coast with, uh, I guess, go with the flow really where we can and it um, where it can work. Well, we're there to to make it work, you know. The cool thing about this date, it's uh, 23rd of uh, April, uh, May, uh, March. <laughs> it's not so far, it's March at this point. And from today on, all the rules in the Netherlands are gone, so people can mosh at your show tomorrow when they like. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's great then. That's great, Let's yeah. celebrate. <laughs> I got a, me a message from Iris, she says, is there anything we can bring them tomorrow, like Dutch snacks or something? And how do they feel about Amsterdam? That's also a very important question, she says. Well... We love Amsterdam. Amsterdam's, Amsterdam is amazing. Um, but people don't need to bring anything. Just bring yourself. Bring your. Bring your <laughs> what do you want? What, what stuff? A, I'll take a stroopwafel. Uh -huh. <laughs> Iris neemt stroopwafels mee morgen. Dan komt het helemaal goed. Uh, Nils is text, uh, texting in as well. He says: Is there still tour merch? Or is it completely sold out as well? Yeah, we, we still have a good amount of like the, the fabric things. Yeah. Shirts. It must be good to sell out things on tour again because that's that's a great thing as well. The vinyl is sold out now. You can see people buying it. It's it's now more real than the last two years you've been sure. in the basement. Yeah, there there are shirts that we've had like on our online store that like I have we've forgotten exist and people like show up and they're like in the merch. I'm like, oh, that looks amazing. That yeah. looks so good. So that's that's been that's been nice. It's been really special. Is there a big difference between a tour in the U.S. and in Europe or the U.K.? Yeah, yeah, there for is. sure. Yeah. Yeah. What's the biggest difference? I think uh, maybe maybe it's like the demographic of the crowd. I think that in the U.S. we get people that look a, a little bit more like us, and then when we're here, it's so much younger, and there's just this energy, and there's uh, many different shapes and colors of people at the shows, and it's that's cool. It's awesome, it's very yeah. cool. And you yeah. have to travel a lot more when you do a tour in the U.S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hours and hours. What is the driving. longest ride you did on a tour in the U.S.? Oh, I don't even know. There's been 12-hour days, I'm sure. Yeah, like, definitely. Very long, long stretches Holy of shit. just nothing, nothingness, no no gas stations. and Usually somewhere around Denver. Yeah. <laughs> Denver's just a hard one to get to. Denver, Kansas, <laughs> yeah. Arizona. Tomorrow is a sold-out show in the Netherlands. You're coming back to do the Lowlands Festival finally this year. And now I'd like to play one of the tunes of the album, which you are uh, happy to play now. Which one should we play? Um, no sweat. Oh, no sweat. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Should we do a little mosh pit in the studio? Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Let's go for it. <laughs> Normally, Wednesday night is the yoga night. 
in the gym beside our studio. But I'm glad today they took a day off. <laughs> yeah. So we could play this fucking loud music. <laughs> Luke and Ian, I'm so glad you're here tonight. And enjoy the show tomorrow in Amsterdam. And let's meet again at Lowlands. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe Thank we so build much. another live room so you can play your fucking loud music here. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> great. Let's renovate. See you later and have a great time tomorrow. Thank Thanks for having so us, much. Jasper. Kink.